Welcome everyone. I really hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks and have a fantastic day. Hey everybody and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a longtime follower, I'm super happy to have you back. So if you are new, I love to share real world things that I've done. I don't like to speculate. I don't like to tell you that shouldn't work or that would work. I like to share with you only what I have done. So I made a video or several videos lately about what happens if your voltage drops and what happens to your receiver. And in that, I showed a system where my receiver had a separate battery for powering it and a separate battery for running the servos. And I've gotten a lot of people saying, hey, wait a minute, can you explain to how to isolate that? So that's what we're gonna do in this video, folks. Okay, so the best way I know to start with this is to show my, now this is S-Bus by Futaba, which means I only really need one set of wires going out to my servos or one wire that would have a red, black, and white. But here I've isolated the servo power, okay? So on the top, you see a black and red wire. That's the battery that's powering my receiver. Down here, you see a black and a white. That's my data and ground. And on the center connector here, you see uh, the center connector right here, you see uh, in the middle, you will see the uh, power that powers the servos, okay? So, and I'll dive into this and explain to you how it works. But basically, you've got to build a very custom wire harness, okay? So the wire harness here means that if you plug the battery in to the connector that's on the bottom right, it's going to power the servo but your data and data ground is going to come from your receiver, okay? It's not like a standard Y. It is a Y that does not have power coming from the receiver, okay? So now what I wanna do is I wanna jump into the Fusion 360 a model I created. So here, folks, what you're looking at is essentially, hang on a minute, let me get this set up right. So I've got a battery right here on a switch that's just running uh, the positive and negative into the receiver, okay? Then if you look at the first isolated system coming out, there is no red wire there. So I'm not running any power back to that receiver at all from this battery. It's only running the servo. Same thing with this next one. So if you had a six channel system, you could in theory have six separate batteries, one battery for each channel. You still will have to power it with a uh, the receiver though with its own battery if you don't have any power coming back. <clears throat> now look folks, you gotta be extremely careful doing this because if you accidentally have power running back to the receiver and let's say you're using a 4.8 volt battery to run your receiver but you're using five cell six volts to run your servos, you're gonna be mix, math, mix mismatching the cell count and the two batteries are gonna to try to balance themselves out and that is a real big no-no. Now, if you got an S-Bus system, this is basically what my S-Bus system looks like um, and like my MSL2, if you don't know what MSL2 is, it's my 188 inch wingspan behemoth. Um, but I isolate, basically these two yellow servos here represent the brakes on my airplane. I have differential brakes and I basically stall servos when I fully engage the brake. So I don't want to bring down the system or affect anything else. So this yellow battery is running yellow servos. This purplish blue is running the purplish blue servos. And this violet is running the violet servos. Servo in this particular depiction. So what I want you to do, folks, is just kind of understand in a very simplistic way um, how you can isolate this. But on this system here, look, there's just a black and white wire here. There is no red wire. There's no power going to or from this receiver here. And then I have a normal Y here, and then I have a custom Y here. I don't want any power going back to the system. I just want the data and data a ground, okay? And then the same thing over here, custom Y, standard Y. So folks, if you don't have the skill to understand what you're doing here, don't do it, okay? Because you could screw your airplane up, you could screw up your radio system, you could screw up servos, you could screw up the receiver, you could burn up batteries. You've got to know what you're doing, okay? Now, there are power systems out there. I think it's called Powerbox and other things out there that will do this for you. You don't have to build this kind of system. But some of those are kind of salty in price. Uh, they're proud of them, and they're very good systems, okay? Um, me, personally, I'm a widget nerd, okay? I love to build my own stuff, 
And actually, I've got a really good friend, uh, Berger uh, Della Pena, who builds all of my little um, motor controllers and everything for like my landing gears and stuff. So I'm a nerd. I love to dive into this and I know how to test it. And if you haven't seen some of my test videos of where I'm showing you how systems work, all the different systems in an airplane, or how the voltage drop, go watch those videos. So look, I want to make this short and sweet. Uh, if you've got any other questions, keep reaching out to me. I am going to dive in deeper and show on my system how to isolate servos too with multiple batteries, okay, with my demonstration systems. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Everybody have a kick-ass day and be good to each other. Rock on and take a kid flying like I always try to say. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.